So here's a project that we're really proud of and we think is really important. Um, we built this bee and insect hotel. Um, we made it from old antique boxes that we got at an estate sale. And then we also upcycled um, bricks that we had gotten for free or had behind the garage. Um, and old pieces that were half rotten from the raised bed that we had on the side of the house. Um, and then we also put in some fabric tubes and spools and clothespins from my studio. Um, some flowers, we tucked some flowers that Stefan got me in here as a little something special. So this, some people ask, is it a beehive? Uh, does it provide honey? No. This is simply a place for insects and bees to nest and rest and live. It doesn't produce honey, but it gives them a place to stay, and so it promotes the pollinator um, insects that you need for your garden that are really helpful um, and that we need for the environment, for food, etc. So we'll do a little, a little up-close tour here. So this Buddha statue sits nicely. There's actually a cement step in here. I don't know if there's a manhole cover. It's kind of between the property lines. Not exactly sure what that used to do, but I've got a little beautiful handmade um, wind chime hanging off the edge. So here is our bee house tag. We are the first registered bee house in Michigan under the Bee Kind organization out of Minnesota. Um, started by a teenager actually um, who's really interested and in hoping to help save the bees. This guy is doing really awesome things and so we're really um, happy and proud to be part of that. So here we also have wine corks and bamboo poles cut, um, pine cones, there's some of those cardboard fabric uh, insides. Just upcycling some stuff. Stuck a couple birdhouses in here um, in case anybody wants to hang out. Um, we have a little mouse that usually pops in and out of here. As you can see, we just kind of put some boxes inside other boxes. We're going to do um, a little repair. This is sagging a teeny. Not a big deal. We're going to amp that up and then add some more tubing and stuff. Um, I'll go up here. This is kind of growing over, but you can see this framework underneath here. And it has like a nice asymmetric house shape. So we do see activity in here. We do see bees um, coming and going, which is real awesome. And we definitely think it's important to help save the bees. And we like how it looks uh, sculpturally too. It's kind of like an interesting art installation. So that's a little DIY project we've done together.